BYD just revealed their stunning electric motor. And this thing is insane. It has an RPM of 30,000. In fact, it's over 30,000, which means it's, it spins much faster than the electric motors of rivals, including Tesla's Model S Plaid and Xiaomi's SU7 Ultra. So what is the point, right? Is there even a point to having these electric motors that can spin ridiculously fast? 30,000 RPM is insane. Is it actually an advantage? Well, it is, but it's also a disadvantage. There are pros and cons to having electric motors capable of these kinds of ludicrous amounts of power and speed at the same time. And I'll try to explain why that is in the most simple way I can. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Recently, BYD revealed their 1000 volt charging system, which is capable of 1000 kilowatt charging. That means you can add around about 450 kilometers or nearly nearly 300 miles of range to BYD's battery in four and a half minutes. Four and a half minutes. It's pretty much as fast as putting fuel in your gas car or your diesel car. So that platform is truly, revolu truly revolutionary. And what was really surprising to a lot of people is they also revealed that platform in their relatively budget cars they're not cheap but they're mid-spec they're certainly not their high-end vehicles they're not their supercars they're not their super expensive models either the Han sedan and the tang suv get this new platform but they also get these ridiculously fast new motors that as far as i know are the fastest in the world they can spin at 30,511 rpm they also have a lot of power, 580 kilowatt in one single small motor. I mean, these things are really only about this big and they only weigh approximately around 70 kilograms. That's an incredibly power dense motor. And let's be honest, how do you compete if you're internal combustion with that? Two of those motors weighs about half the weight or less of one single six cylinder engine which obviously would have a total, a, a tiny fraction of the power. Now, if you can compare this to Xiaomi's new V8 RPM, uh, their new V8 motor, which is also incredibly powerful, that motor can spin at 27,200 RPM. So BYD is really up the ante by around 10%, which is pretty incredible considering Tesla's Model S Plaid spins at around 20,000 RPM. To give you some context, the RPM of Tesla's electric motors ranges between 18,000 to 23,000. The Model S and X Plaid motors actually spin at around 23,000 RPM. The Model 3 and Model Y motors spin between 17,000 to 19,000 RPM, depending on if you're looking at the front or the rear. So are higher RPM electric motors actually better? Well, the answer is yes, they are. Generally speaking, Electric motors capable of higher RPM, revolutions per minute, can provide advantages for electric cars. So the question is, what exactly are those advantages? Well, higher efficiency, improved efficiency and performance is one of the outcomes. Higher speeds, faster motor RPM means the vehicle can achieve higher top speeds, which to be honest, probably doesn't matter to you, but it does to some people. Smaller gearboxes as well. High RPM motors can use simpler gearing or direct drive setups, reducing complexity and cost. That's really more for internal combustion though. It's not so applicable to electric cars. But one thing that is, is reduced weight and size. High RPM allows motors to generate the same power output in a physically smaller and lighter package, reducing overall vehicle weight and improving handling, acceleration and range. That can also enhance vehicle range. Improved motor efficiency at various RPM ranges can translate directly into increased battery efficiency, ultimately providing better driving range. Now, would say going from 20,000 RPM to 30,000 RPM provide a huge efficiency difference? Probably not, it'd only be a couple of percent, but it's still something. Now, BYD's groundbreaking 30,511, bizarrely specific, isn't it, RPM motor, has some key advantages. It apparently has its has had its weight reduced by 25% compared to lower RPM motors. So yeah, it's lighter for the reasons I mentioned before. 
Its efficiency has been improved through smaller, lighter gearing, says BYD. And it has, well, BYD is saying it's helping them to get more EV driving range and better performance. But there are some drawbacks. There are some challenges that you have to overcome in order to have motors in your car running at these kinds of speeds. And these include durability and heat management. Higher RPM motors require advanced cooling and bearing designs due to increased friction and heat generation. This could potentially mean more chance of failure. Let's be honest, the faster something spins, the higher likelihood that it spins out of control if there was, say, a small defect in the motor. Material cost and complexity is also a part of the equation here. Higher RPM motors often require more expensive, stronger materials to handle increased mechanical stresses. And realistically, BYD have confirmed that as well in their press release. They actually said this, the new motor features N50EH high energy magnets, boosting magnetic performance by 18%, which reduces current losses by 44%. A 0.2 millimeter ultra thin silicon steel sheet minimizes iron loss and a 10 layer short distance winding design lowers copper loss by 21%. Additionally, dynamic balance precision is controlled with 50 milligram. The industry standard is 100 milligram as per car news China. And it is paired with BYD's self-developed 1500 volt silicon carbide power module and the direct cooling refrigerant technology optimizes heat dissipation. Now, notice BYD mentioned one key critical aspect here, heat dissipation. Now, as I mentioned before, higher RPM motors require advanced cooling. So BYD have had to engineer some pretty advanced cooling into their cars, not just to the motor, but into other parts of the vehicle to make sure the motors don't get too hot. So what does this all mean? Well, higher RPM motors like BYD's new motor and Xiaomi's V8 motor offer considerable advantages in size, weight, efficiency, and performance, but they do come at a cost. They are more expensive to produce and do require more cooling needs. Tesla's motors currently operate at significantly lower RPMs, between 17 to 20,000 for the cars that Tesla sells to 99% of the world, meaning BYD's innovation could push the entire industry toward even more efficient, compact, and high-performing electric motors. And let's be frank right now, there's no doubt Tesla's cars are more efficient, significantly more efficient, in fact, than BYD. That might be about to change, though. With new 1,000-volt platforms, 1,000-kilowatt charging, BYD's new different blade batteries, because it's got two different versions of the new blade battery coming up, which are both much more advanced than the previous generation. One of them is a short blade battery. It's about half the length of the existing blade battery. With all these new technological innovations coming out, BYD might, in fact, very likely will leapfrog Tesla and show that actually it's been working on its efficiency to the point where it might actually be the industry standard over the coming generations of cars that we're going to see out within the next six months. I'll report on those models. I'll report on which motors they have, which batteries they have. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.